Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, we are going to create the front-end project, so the React, and I'm going to use VJS for that. So if you go to the VJS.dev, uh, here we have a supported template presets for we can create with VJS. We have the plain vanilla JavaScript, view, React, Preact, Lead, and Svelte. In our case, we need a React. So scroll down and we can create the project with npm, yarn, or pnpm. And by saying for npm, npm create with at latest. And then choose the, the template, or we can directly say npm create with latest, the name of the project, dash dash template, and specify the template. This is for npm 6. Point, uh, or if we have 7 plus npm, we need to say npm create with latest, the name of the project, dash dash, and also the dash dash template, and specify the preset. I have uh, npm 7 plus, so I'm going to use this command. I'm going to copy that and let's navigate in my terminal. I am inside the sites directory here. I want to create the project, so I'm going to paste that in. And not sites, but this one. Just now, let's change the name of the project and I'm going to name it React Breeze API and the template is going to be react hit enter okay you can see how fast it is with uh, vjs now let's cd in the project and let's say npm install and then npm run dev okay now if i visit this URL in the browser. So let's uh, come here. And yeah, we have the project and we have a simple count here, as you can see. Okay. Now uh, I want to install the React router, the Axios, and also the Tiling CSS in our project. We are going to need the router, also the Axios to send requests and the tiling CSS for styles. So if you go to the reactrouter.com, let's say npm install react router dump, and you can uh, read the documentation of the react router. But I suppose you have knowledge of the react. So just let's navigate in here. I'm going to terminate and paste that command npm install react-router-dom then let's navigate in the axios and to install we need to say npm install axios okay paste that in the last one is to install the tiling css so let's tilingcss.com get started and we need to choose the fr framework with vid and using react we have created the project just install the tiling css so let's paste that in okay then mpx tiling css in it okay then we need to add inside the content in the Tailwind config. These two lines here, so let's copy and we need to open the project with a VS Code. So I'm going to say code dot. And let's go to the Tailwind config and inside the content, paste that line. Then we have the add in the index.css the type in base components and utilities so in the vs code inside the source directory we have this index 
CSS. I'm going to select and remove all from here and just paste the piling base components and utilities here. Save, close. And we are OK. Now just run the npm run dev and apply the styles. So let's run here npm run dev. OK, now if we come here and see, yeah, we have different uh, styles here. OK. Now that's it about this video to set up the project and then we need to... So first I'm going to remove the app CSS, the assets we don't need here. In the app JSX also I'm going to remove the app CSS and all the imports in here. So just say remove everything. Class name is going to be uh, max with 6 Excel MX auto. And here I'm going to add H1 welcome. And let's save. Let's see. Yeah. And this is in the left here because I have zoomed it. So as you can see, if I zoom out, yeah, the, this is here because we say uh, max with 6XL. So the Titan CSS is here. So that's it about this video, friends. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.